Hello, I'm Chuck Emmert with the City of Phoenix Communications Office and No 99 Television. If you're watching this, we're right in the middle of the holiday season right now. We all want to have fun, but we want to be safe as well. So today I'm at the City of Phoenix Fire Headquarters on 12th Street, just south of Jefferson. And I got with me Brian Scholl today. Welcome, Brian. Thank you. How are you? Good. I'm well, thanks. So, Brian, we know that we want to be safe during the holiday season, and Phoenix Fire has seen situations happen year after year. Let's run through some of the safety factors that may affect a holiday season. Okay, well, first and foremost, we just actually had a fire involving a space heater, so let's talk about that first, because it is kind of chilly at night. So we got to make sure that if you have a space heater by the bed or in the bedroom, make sure there's at least three foot clearance around that space heater. No blankets, no toys, no nothing around that space heater. And make sure you buy the kind that actually, if they tip over, that they actually um, shut off. That's the safe kind. The fire that we had the other day, the little girl's doll actually knocked over the space heater, and that's what caused the fire. Luckily, there was fire sprinklers in the apartment, and it actually put out the fire. The scary part is the little girl didn't know what to do, so she ran in the closet. So we also, in addition to talking about, you know, safety like that, we want to talk about evacuation. You know, have practice, a have a plan, practice with the family. Make sure they understand if something goes wrong, you run out of the, out of the bedroom and go to wherever you um, talked about. This is our tree, this is the car, wherever you want to be, make sure you know they know where to go. And this is something that families should really rehearse and not just talk about, but they actually need to rehearse it. They actually need to rehearse it. At my house, when we do it, the neighbors actually kind of look at us why we're all running outside, but we're practicing. We want to make sure everyone understands, hey, we're going to go over here. We're going to go by this big tree. Um, don't go across the street because that's where the fire trucks are going to be. So make sure you pick it down the street a little bit or the neighbor's house, something where you guys can get away from the house, but still be close enough so when we get there, you can tell us, hey, everyone's out of the house. Uh, great idea, Brian. There's also some other things to look out for as well. Um, so going more into the holiday, we're talking about kitchen safety because everyone's going to be cooking hopefully um, next week. We want to make sure that you keep the kids out of the kitchen. No kids running around the kitchen because if you've got a pot that's got a handle and the kid walks by it, that's what's going to happen. He's going to run right into that pot and potentially um, burn himself with whatever it is, boiling water, sauce, whatever it might be. So in addition to keeping the kids out, make sure you turn the handles to the, to the back so in case a kid does run by, he's not going to run into that handle. Now, these are things that uh, they seem obvious, but with a lot of people around holiday season, you may have a lot of people over at the house. Things can just happen uh, unexpectedly that way. And in addition, things can happen outside the house as well by our pools. Right. So everyone kind of thinks about it's wintertime. You know, you don't really think about your pool. But you got to remember, the pool is still out there, and it's still very inviting for little kids. So you got to make sure that you keep all your gates locked and closed and always have some person that's keeping an eye out for where all the kids are. If they're playing outside, make sure there's an adult that's actually out there watching the kids to make sure because we actually have had a lot of drownings during the winter season. Right, and someone can just slip into a pool easily like that and nobody notices. It's a good idea to maybe, maybe have a designated lifeguard uh, there at the party or there at the event like that to watch out for that kind of thing. You always want um, one or two adults that are just there, call them the safety person, whatever you like to call them, that are just watching the kids and kind of making sure everyone's doing what they're supposed to be doing. Are they running through the kitchen? Okay, stop running through the kitchen. Are they playing outside by the pool? All right, go outside and stay by that pool to make sure nobody goes near that pool. All right, great messages, Brian. Also, with the holiday season, we've got a lot of ornaments up and those can be a fire hazard yeah um, even on an artificial tree the ornaments themselves can actually catch fire if they're right up against a bulb so not only do we recommend when you're putting up your ornaments make sure you keep them away from the bulbs but if you use the LED lights they're actually cooler temperature wise and they're actually less of a fire hazard so make sure you get the LED lights but make sure any kind of combustible ornaments are away from the lights themselves well we're a little bit early for this right now but during the holiday season and afterwards especially it's a time to recycle your tree yes it's time to recycle your tree so make sure during before um, and right at Christmas make sure you're watering your tree every day um, I heard a good um, point that someone says they put a ping pong ball in the actual bowl so when they can't see the ping pong ball anymore they know they need to add more water now well, that's an easy way to do it easy way I thought it was a great idea right. and then so and then once the day after Christmas that's the day to unplug all the lights and start taking everything down off the Christmas tree and then actually putting the Christmas tree outside because that's when it's going to start getting really dry and really become a fire hazard all right well great advice there and one popular ornament that's come around in the last few years is the elf on a shelf and I know you've got one down here tell me a little bit about that yeah so we have an elf on a shelf and I actually have an elf in my house and sometimes the elves don't realize that if they actually go near something hot like a light bulb that actually be very dangerous not only to the elf themselves but also to the homeowners and the occupants so um, Santa actually gave us some special gloves that I can actually touch the elf with to make sure he doesn't lose his magic and I'm going to show you what happened to our, our little elf here. And this elf got a little bit too close to some of the light bulbs and actually got burned. 
right in there like that. So that's just from a light bulb that maybe the elf was sitting on, right? It was on a chandelier. Um, they had a good view of the whole house, but they were just right up against the light. And then once someone turned the light on, then this poor little elf got burned. So we all can't just assume that our ornaments and modern uh, ornaments like this are necessarily fireproof or fire retardant that way. And so it's just a good idea to be safe. It's a good idea to be safe. Keep everything away from anything that's hot or open flame or any kind of source of ignition. Keep everything away. All right. Well, Brian, thanks so much for being with us today. Is there anything else that you want to talk about that I haven't asked you? We just want to make sure everyone has a safe and happy uh, holiday and get rid of those Christmas trees the day after Christmas. Good advice there. So that's for, for holiday safety right now. I'm Chuck Emmert with the City of Phoenix Communications Office. Have a blessed and happy holiday.